Hello, my horde. Um, you may realize you see only my hands today, and I do usually do on-camera segments. Um, unfortunately, I have a hideous eye infection, and nobody needs to look at that. Um, so I am home from work, uh, because I really have no idea if this eye infection could possibly be contagious. Uh, it was very gross, and I really kind of thought it might have been, so I stayed home. Uh, this is actually day number two. My symptoms are starting to clear up, but my eye is still pretty, uh, ugly, so <laughs> I just don't want people to think that I'm, like, coming to work sick, trying to get them sick or anything, especially uh, not in the now times. Anyway, that's why I'm not on camera, because my face is disgusting. <laughs> um, but uh, I have decided uh, that I'm gonna try to paint my nails. For whatever reason, I thought I would drag y'all along on that process. Um, <laughs> some of the uh, impetus for this, some, some of the inciting whatnot, um, I don't think you can see it from this distance. I do have an insert shot uh, I have an extremely broken nail. My thumbnail is broken down past the nail bed. It's grown out a little bit um, since my original break. I did break this nail pulling rhinestones off of costumes at work, um, where I also obtained, uh, there's gonna be a blister here. Yeah, uh, this blister, it didn't pop, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to just let it like heal naturally but I've had I've had this deflated blister for weeks now and it is very annoying it messes with my sense of touch really uh, but I I'm just like at this point to like pop it and peel it would probably be just like uh, a bad 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 idea um, so I'm just trying to let it heal uh, naturally but that was it was really interesting because I'm pulling I'm pulling rhinestones off of costumes and I felt the moment my like the one layer of skin separated from the other layers of skin and I was just like Ugh. oh no and yeah I I had a big old nasty squishy blister right on my thumb um, and I could not continue doing that exact task but I had other tasks that I could do. Anyway, back to the nail break. Um, I have been, for the past couple of weeks, using this uh, Nail Aid brand uh, bandage uh, to try to keep... Because uh, I didn't do anything for the first couple of days, and then I noticed I kept getting threads or whatever caught under, and I sort of was continuing to tear. But we're, um, we're getting close, like... I'm hoping that if it did tear right now, it wouldn't be as bad as it would have been. Um, but I do have that little break on the other side that is further down. Um, and definitely having having that smoothed out with something has helped. Um, so, n nail painting. What an over-explanation. But I am going to, and I'm going to just for consistency's sake do this on all of my nails, but I am going to go ahead and start with a couple layers of this nail bandage uh, just because it has actually done a really good job of, I have had to reapply um, fairly frequently, but it has done a good job of keeping that nail from separating much more than it already has um, but then since I'm using it as something of a base coat uh, I do want to put it on all of my nails and really as far as I know um, not that I've done any research I the only uh, nail research I've ever done is oh <laughs> Watching, uh, oh no, why am I forgetting one of the names? What are they? <sighs> Simply nail logical videos. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> you may notice my voice is off too. I am, I am all around allergies. The eye infection may in fact 
be an allergy thing, but I have been taking my allergy pills for like three days in a row now. Um, I don't know if that's enough. Uh, I don't always take them because I don't always need them. And honestly, um, I usually, I mean, sometimes I get, you know, generic Zyrtec, but what I use is Zyrtec and Zyrtec is so expensive. Um, that even though I have always, um, I spent most of my like teens and early twenties using, uh, allergy medication to control my asthma because I do have asthma, but it is very much like allergy exacerbated rather than like exercise. Like exercise doesn't make me, you know, suddenly drop down, uh, what is, what are the, what are words? I do not have a fever, but I feel like my brain is fried. Um, no, it just doesn't trigger an asthma attack, but like pollen count absolutely will. Uh, so, you know, uh, I, I spent many, many years doing that, but then I had to, uh, start paying it for myself because I was a real proper adult out on my own. Um, and I could not really afford daily Zyrtec anymore. So I sort of take it seasonally or like if I wake up feeling kind of mucusy and puffy, uh, I will take the Zyrtec, although it's... It's generally better to just go ahead and take it every single day, um, for, for me anyway. Now this, um, this nail bandage does dry pretty quick. I'm going to give that a, a couple more minutes, or not whole minutes, but just a little bit longer. Um, I have noticed it dries really quick, um, and you can like really build it up into a nice thick, like I was building it up until I didn't really feel the bump from my crack, uh, cracked nail anymore. And like, maybe by the end of the day, it would sort of, just because it's a, it's a fairly longer nail and I, I just do things actively with my hands. So it will sort of break, <laughs> um, the polish eventually. And then I just, you know, reapply that night or the next morning, um, until it's kind of thick again. And that's been working out. And then I have, see, I have, I have my nice hand and I have my not so nice hand, uh, with my little, little short, shorter nails going on here. Although there's that one nice long one over here. A lot of it's cause I am a serial nail picker. Like I don't bite, but I like, my nails will do that thing where they'll flake. So I'll pick at that and I'll pick the little flakes off. It's disgusting, but we all have disgusting habits. Um, and I, I don't know, sometimes I'm good about not doing it for like a month and then I just start doing it again. I'm not sure. Cause I'll like do it when I'm bored. I'll do it when I'm anxious. I really and don't know. I do want to do just a couple coats of this. I'm sure that at some point I'll run out of things to say and I will just like make some jump cuts or speed ups. Um, Cause this isn't 100% about the nails, even though I am uh, painting my nails on camera. It's, it's about the vlogging kind of, um, it's been a while. Uh, you may have noticed the last video I actually w managed to post was, uh, actually shot in like, mm, July or August, uh, because it mentions that I hadn't started my old new job again, that I, that I hadn't returned to my old company. Um, but I, I definitely did at the start of August, so it's been a couple of months, um, and it just took me that long to get through the backlog because, again, I'm, I'm driving back and forth, you know, t it's, it's two hours to my job and two hours back to home every day, so I spend four hours a day driving and eight hours a day at work, because it is, um, it's a seasonal position, but I do work full-time hours, um, which is nice 
it's it's nice that I don't have to do part time um, to work there, and that I can I can get the, you know, the <laughs> I'm not like driving four hours a day for four hour shifts or anything, because um, I I probably wouldn't do that um, even though I really I really love where I work. Um, I did I finally this past weekend, which may or may not be related to why I'm sick, I have no idea, but on Saturday we did actually, my husband and I, we went to the haunt as guests for the first time ever. I have never been to a, a haunted event um, as a guest. I have been through a couple of haunted houses um, like let's not I'm not gonna say exactly where I work now or where I used to work but theme parks these are theme park haunted houses um, and I have only been through two and one of them was in 2013 uh, and that was I I went through that house like I, I got off one day and like scrubbed my makeup off and like ran across the park really quick to get into a house I really wanted to go to um, and then in 2018, the first time I worked at my current park, um, I did go through one of the houses on dress rehearsal night. But those are like the only haunted houses I've been through, and they still are. Um, the lines were really long. Going uh, to the haunt in October was maybe not the greatest choice uh, as far as someone who just does not want to wait in lines. <laughs> um, I mean... I know all the stage managers and I probably could have been like, well, can I just, can I just get into this one? But that's, I, that feels wrong to me. I'm just like, I'm not actually working, so I don't need to be pushed to the front of the line. Um, but, uh, so yeah, we didn't, we didn't go through any of the houses, but we went through most of the zones. Um, and things, things, I got to see some of the costumes that I worked on. I worked on some specialty pieces this year that I was really proud of and I was really excited to like see out on set and I was really glad to see that. Um, we got to meet up with a friend of ours who is a mega fan of theme park haunts um, and it was great to catch up with her and to view the event with her. Um, but we pretty much, uh, I, my goal was to see the show. Um, we have one big show. I wanted to see the show. I wanted my husband to see the show. Because uh, he has been a lighting designer. Um, and so I always just like to ask his opinion about the lighting on shows. <laughs> I'm like, let's go to the theme park so we can see the shows. And then let's critique them. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so that was like the main goal. Um, and that showing was... Uh, about two hours into the event and we left about an hour uh, after the show ended so we we ended up circling the park one more time um, I bought a little bit of merch I was in search of something specific but I got lost in the park that I work in my husband turned to me and goes are you sure you work here and I was just like I'm always backstage I don't know what this looks like but yeah um, I missed the shop I was looking for uh, and the lines everywhere else were way too long so we left um, we also we had been there for day products so we were in the park from about we were actually in the park from about 2 p.m. until 10 30 um, so we were there for a long, long time. Um, we did spend a lot of time, you know, sitting down eating, sitting down watching shows. So it wasn't a full time of walking, but we did circle the park three or four times. And this is, this is a really big park. Um, I mean, if you pay attention, you, you know where it is, but I don't, I don't represent them. I don't talk for them. Um, so I'm just not going to say it in the video. Um, but yeah, and I, it was, a, it was a ton of fun. I had fun. Um, next year I'd like to go in September and maybe I will go into one of the houses. I'm a little bit of a weenie and that's like why I haven't really, um, done all of that. Um, I don't, I don't really enjoy the part where the characters are in your face screaming at you. Um, 
but I, I love the creepy atmosphere, you know, I like, you know, I don't mind when it's, you know, they're, they're a couple feet away from you and they're just like, I'm gonna get you, girl, or some shit like that. Like, that's fun. Um, it's just the, like, specifically screaming into my face um, that I don't like. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I've got, I've got the two coats of the base coat. I don't think I would go a little bit thicker um, if I was just doing this, but I am gonna be doing some craziness. I'm gonna show you um, you know, from this angle, not really. Uh, I have more than one color of nail polish here. I am not good at nail art, but we're gonna try today. Uh, and then I have, I have a top coat. I mean, it's actually just clear polish, but I'm gonna use it as a top coat. I don't know, I need to, if I really wanted to like get in to painting my nails a little harder. I would want some more quality stuff. Like, I really want to buy some Holo Taco, like, not to, you know, shout out Christine, but shout out Christine. Um, <laughs> she's out there, she is out there living that entrepreneurial life, making the product she wants to see in the world. Um, but anyway, I do have, maybe I'll explain this before I even start. Um, I have this green, I have this purple, I have this white. The idea here is um, I'm really obsessed with candy corn this year and um, I don't have <laughs> red and yellow nail or orange and yellow nail polish because ew. Uh, but there is this adorable thing where sometimes candy corn is a green, purple, and white and I also love that. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is gonna try to create some like stripes but what I'm really gonna do is just sort of um, do a base coat of this green and then like a stripe of purple and then a stripe of white and I'm gonna um, I'm going to embrace uh, instead of trying to find some like washi tape that I want to I want to use on this because all of my washi tape is pretty and I don't want to waste it like that um, I'm gonna just freehand it and I'm gonna like embrace I'm gonna embrace what's gonna happen here but yeah to start with I've got to get um, a couple coats of this green down to get it kind of solid looking and I don't want to, I don't want to focus too hard on trying to get, like, one, trying to get it super solid in the first coat or whatever, um, because that never works out for me and I just end up with chunky nail polish. So I think, um, especially, because it's, like I said, I don't really have anything nice, although, uh, like, actually, I don't even know. I have no idea what what brands are they're all a different brand um but they're all like <laughs> these are like all gonna be drugstore brands um looks like my green here is sinful colors professional and although just because it says professional does not mean actual like professional quality um <clears throat> that looks really yellow on camera doesn't it uh, maybe not but certainly from the angle my viewfinder is at it looks really yellow um <laughs> But it is, um, it's like a nice Frankenstein green, in my opinion. Uh, so that's why I went with that. Plus, um, everything else is glitter. Uh, but I had this, like, nice cream, creme purple that's, so, I've got, I'm gonna use that. Uh, this is, this is Cover Girl. God, how old are these? And... Oh, my white is Sally Hansen. Um, so yeah, pretty much all like drugstore brand stuff. Um, nothing, nothing special, nothing fancy. Hey, right. Wanted to give this like half a second to dry, to start drying. Um, I talked so much on Saturday that I like, I wrecked my voice and like, so on Sunday, like my voice was awful. My my body was in pain because we did so much walking, and my my valiant husband um, 
he was in that car crash uh, a year ago and he's he's still technically in recovery like he's not he's not 100 percent, and he won't be for you know a long time he his knee popped off like that's messed up um and he had the you know the breaks in his leg so i like i'm actually i'm shocked at uh how well he handled walking around that giant park the whole time um I did, you know, I like I, I frequently had to remind myself to slow down because uh, he he couldn't go quite so fast. There were <laughs> our park is not built flat. It is built on just hills like <laughs> at one point um, in like the middle of the day. He was just like, why is how is everything downhill? And it's just because there's just it's so up and down. Um. But he, he really, and I mean, like I said, we, we also, we made a lot of stops throughout the day to like, you know, sit for a long time and just eat, um, eat my little pretzel. I always get a soft pretzel. Um, I mean, <laughs> if you've seen my Instagram posts, you know, um, but it's just, uh, it's just rough terrain. It really is. Um, but he did. He did really well. And um, I do think, though, that if I had, after the show let out, um, the the lines were like probably at least two hours long. And I think if I had what been like, I kind of want to go through a house, he would have been like, no, I need to leave. <laughs> um, but I was ready to leave too. I was getting tired. We, um, we chose not to book a hotel because uh, I didn't want to spend the money. I did not feel like spending the money on a hotel. So we were, whatever time we left, we still needed to drive home. <laughs> So I was like, no, it's time to go. It's, it's like packed. We, we had difficulty, you know, making our way around. <laughs> so I was just like, you, we got to leave. It's, it's time to go. <laughs> if we had maybe uh, jumped into line. So we were in the park during the transition. You know, we, they started closing areas off to people who didn't have their um, nighttime tickets. Uh we went and we got our wristbands and we stayed in the park. So we were in the park, um, you know, they're clearing day guests uh, at a certain hour um, for for an hour uh, before the event truly starts. But in that time, uh, they begin to open the lines for the houses. And if we had gone ahead and picked a house and got into that line at that time and just, you know, gone right when the event truly opened, um, perhaps uh perhaps it would have been fine but <laughs> i was just like by the time i was really focused on i want to see this show so i was like we can't get into a line that's going to be two hours long which by the time the event truly opens they really do they're like eh, 90 minutes we think this is going to be 90 minutes um so I was like, I, no, we're not missing the show because if we had missed the first showing of the show at nine, we would have had to stay until 11 o'clock, which, okay, is when we were leaving, but that means, you know, it's a 30 minute show. We would have been leaving at like 1130 and the event closes at 1 a.m. So I'm just like, no, we're going to, we're going to hit that first show and then we're going to leave. Um, but yeah, I think... <laughs> I think strategically you need um, you need to go either like early in the event in September and I think that's what I I will choose to do next year because um, I well hopefully I'll get to work um, at the same park again next year and I will <laughs> get to go <laughs> again um, which I mean if I'm not working there, that doesn't stop me. But if I'm not working there, I probably don't have the money to actually go. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Huh. I'm just waiting on these to dry, and I don't want to touch them. But I was 
babbling for quite a bit um, but I think I th so I think we're gonna hit the part of the video where we we do some cuts uh, and I don't just talk over the nails drying because um, that might get boring I'm, I'm gonna run out of things that was that was most of the things I was just talking about um, my experience at Haunt which was so exciting <laughs> I know I don't sound as excited as I usually would because uh, I got a little bit of stuffiness and all that going on, but I really, I, I really did. I enjoyed it um, so much and like I said, I'm already like making plans for like how to do it better next year <laughs> um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to wait for these to dry. Alright, so here we are. Ooh. My hand was still a little damp. A little bit of handprint going on there. All right. This is coat number two of the green. Just gonna hope that this looks good by the time I'm done with it. Ah. Okay, this nail polish is maybe goopy? I don't know. Or, nail polish underneath isn't as dry as I thought. <laughs> Feels totally dry. Let me shake this up again. That's probably good enough, you know. It's good enough for Labby. <laughs> It'll just be a miracle if I don't like it's actually already a miracle that my my bad hand isn't covered in just insane amounts of out of place nail polish. I am no good with my left hand for literally anything. I can't even hold a mug in my left hand. There's a hair in there. Little kitty hair. Take a piece of my cat with me everywhere I go. Mm, yep, there it just went. I got that all over. Uh, just, just right all over. my actual finger. Try to do some clean up there. No, I don't have any polish remover and like a, a nice little uh, brush out here or anything even though those are all smart things that I've seen people who actually know how to paint their nails do. Right, I'm gonna give that hand a moment to dry. That's kind of what coat two looks like. Which I think, I think is fine. I think it's fine. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually save you, ugh, although that thumb is, the thumb is chunky. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, what I'm gonna do off camera is uh, also the other hand and all the dry time for that. Okay, so like I actually redid my right hand, um, which I do not regret. It was super goopy, but this shit is taking forever to dry. I don't understand why anyone uh, tries to sustain a nail art channel at all to begin with. Holy shit, this takes forever. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? But anyway, um, this stuff has been dry for like a freaking hour because I went to, <laughs> I put in a Target drive up order for some freaking eye drops for my gross infected eye. <laughs> 
actually, it's doing better than it was yesterday. Uh, I just still decided I some antihistamine eye drops would be a good idea. So that happened in the middle of this, which is a part of why these were goopy and then they got messed up because they weren't drying. And now they're still not drying. <sighs> But anyway, I'd like to move on over on, on my left hand over here anyway, since we're, we only need to demonstrate on one hand and then I can just wait for hours and hours in, um, well, not loneliness. I have uh, YouTube uh, where I have my parasocial relationships. Uh, <laughs> No, guys, I'm not that weird. Um, no, I just sometimes talk back to the TV, and I do that whether it's real TV or YouTube, so it's not a parasocial relationship. I know they can't hear me. I know they don't care. <laughs> Actually, I'm making a way bigger deal out of it than it is, uh, for comedy's sake. But... So, like I said, uh... <laughs> I don't have any like nail strippies, which um, when I was making my target order, uh, I hadn't decided to paint my nails yet, but I probably could have seen if Target had those. Um, but I'm I'm not leaving the house again. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I, I only did a Target order specifically because I could do drive up uh, and have no one have to see me out in public with with my red eye um because that's just nope that's just gonna make people uncomfortable okay so yeah so i'm just gonna um you know i said that before didn't i i was just gonna roll with like whatever uh whatever kind of happens here i'm gonna try to make it i feel like i'm leaving less of the green than i thought i was going to um yeah, that's fine. It's curved, but I don't care. I mean, like, have you ever seen a perfect candy corn anyway? I mean, maybe. Jeez Louise, all right, come on, loop. It's a little jacket, but I don't hate it. <clears throat> I don't really hate the fact that it's not a perfect line. And I might only, I might get away with only doing one coat of this purple. Like, look how, I don't know if y'all can really see, this, this stuff is like pretty thickly luscious. And green's not showing through at all. Oh, and of course, right there it gets thin. Right after I gave all those compliments. Although that probably means it is going to take just forever to dry. <laughs> I could probably almost make these little brides of Frankensteins, put like a little face in the green. I probably would have needed to do just a little bit less green. Or more green. Uh, less purple is what I meant. I, yeah, I don't think I'm getting this ratio right at all for these stripes. But, uh, you know. I literally, um rarely ever paint my nails, and uh, I've never ever been good at even just a basic coat of paint. <laughs> um. Which I'm sure uh, people who actually know how to paint nails are, are well aware of how 
terrible. <laughs> this looks. Um, but no, I think it's going well. Yeah, I'm jinxing it by saying it's going well. Um, but so far, so far, that's kind of that's kind of cute. It's kind of actually going where I want it to go. Um, what I am thinking about, though, since I have so many short nails on this hand, is this hand might literally, um, except for uh, this nail here, which will be sort of a feature nail, um, these are just gonna be um, purple, purple and green, maybe, and not try to fit the white tip in, but I'm not sure. I'll figure that out while I'm painting the purple one. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna wait literally forever for this crap to dry. Okay, got... Hopefully I haven't completely um, ruined <laughs> this right hand here. Um, it seems like I just don't have patience, but I have painted. Um, hopefully it was dry enough. I don't really know, but I'm gonna start the white layer on the left hand here, if this bottle opens. Oh, uh, why didn't I? Oh, uh, okay. Give me, give me a minute. I finally managed to open this without also destroying my nails or anything of the sort. But here we go. So far, okay, so far. White might need a second coat. I'm really just trying to do like a true, true tip here too, like, that's why I wasn't sure. how it'll look on the short nails because with the long nails I can pretty much just use you know above my finger as the guide all right that's definitely gonna need another coat because that that went really thin Some of those turned out better than others. Uh, I would say this is my one, like, really, really good nail, and then everything else is meh. This thumbnail is kind of gross at the moment. It definitely does need another coat over there. But I will we'll just wait for that to dry. So much waiting. Wow, oh. <laughs> it is looking really cute though. Hopefully it lasts for more than a day. But I'm sure that I'm gonna go to bed tonight and it's gonna chip. I'm gonna put like eight layers of top coat. Not really eight, probably three. <laughs> but I'm gonna put so much top coat on this hoping that it doesn't chip in my sleep. But all of this is cheap nail polish and my, my top coat, my clear polish, 
it's love and beauty i don't even know that brand like so i have no idea <laughs> okay so the footage you're seeing right now is uh from right after i finished the clear coat um i did two two coats of clear cop top coat um on these nails uh and this is this is what it looked like immediately after i did that um it doesn't look like that now because unfortunately i have no patience and it turns out like nothing was actually dry on my nails um so we're we're gonna cut to um today this is the next day and this probably won't even show up on film but i promise you these are like blanket wrinkled i have like blanket wrinkles in my nail polish because I just could it just wouldn't dry it would not dry I it took all day it wouldn't dry I like my husband came home and I couldn't even film painting the clear layer I'm gonna switch real quick and I'm gonna show you the uh, bad side here like this nail you can probably tell it was actually like way messed up but yeah, you can tell more on these because this was this was the worst one because I had restarted on it, so it was even less dry, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't film when my husband is home because we live in a tin can. Um, and by tin can, I mean a single bedroom, just itty bitty teeny weeny apartment where we cannot get away from each other. Um, so I cannot get privacy to film. Um, but yeah, so, so I'm, a little, I'm a little disappointed that that happened, but I also don't understand why I waited for hours and hours and hours and the nail polish still just did not dry. I don't understand. Uh, I really thought nail polish didn't take forever to dry. <laughs> I, like, I know there's quick dry nail polish and that that isn't what I was using, but I really didn't think... It was, it was hours. I started painting my nails at 2 o'clock. And it was like, you're seeing footage from like six o'clock or, or the, the footage of like right afterwards is from six o'clock. Um, anyway, they're, you know, obviously my left hand is better, but they're, they're lumpy, but they're cute. Um, I just wish that it had actually dried and didn't get this blanket texture into it. Um, it's a little oh well um but thank you all for coming along with me on this journey for just the catching up with me it's been a few months um since i had an actual a current video um and unfortunately being being ill for three days gave me time which i wasn't sure when i was gonna film but i i guess um life handed me a here you're sick now do this um <laughs> So that happened. Um, anyway, uh, thank you again. If you liked today's video, there's a little like button. Um, I'm probably not gonna paint my nails on camera again, just cause holy crumbs. Um, but this was a nice experiment. Um, and I will, I will see you treasures next time.